Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, a Chelsea transfer news video. That's what you say, video. Jesus Christ, my brain. Now listen, the January transfer window is opening in like less than two weeks. And as more news generates, stories become recurring. Frank Lampard makes little noises here and there. Generally, we're getting a better and better scope of what Chelsea are looking for and what they are likely to get and achieve as January transfers. In this video, I'm going to be giving you updates on current stories. Uh, I kind of look at some new stories that have been coming out and what is realistic and what isn't realistic. And also, first, I want to talk about the Champions League a little bit. Before I do get into the news content today, please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Click the subscribe button and click the bell notifications icon because that's important. Help a brother out, like the video. Also, if you are a football nerd like me, make sure you do click on the link at the top of the description to check out me playing Football Manager and FIFA 20 on my other channel, Yan Plays, where I nerd out on video games. Click it. Wait, watch the content and then click. Sweet. Right, let's start with the Champions League. Chelsea have obviously qualified through the group, which is deemed a success for Frank Lampard. His European campaign has already been a success because of the revenue he's generated from exiting the group stage in what was a difficult group. Because Chelsea finished second, they were going to draw a really, really hard team, and their possible teams are really difficult, uh, and they've drawn Bayern Munich. To be honest, it could be worse. People were wanting uh, RB Leipzig, but they are very, very good also, and they're currently in searing form. I think Bayern are seventh, Leipzig are like top of the league or joint first, so think about that. Regardless to Bayern Munich having like an immaculate group ca stage campaign. Jesus, my English. So hopefully the young Chelsea players can go into it with a fearless state of mind just to enjoy it. The pressure's off really, Chelsea aren't expected to win the Champions League and hopefully they can do something. I looked at the odds on Chelsea in the Champions League this season and yes, the pressure is off. The first leg at home against Bayern, remember it's a knockout stage at home. Chelsea are three to one to win, which is crazy. Bayern are odds on to win at Stamford Bridge. But actually, upon reflection, Chelsea have been awful at home, so I kind of almost get that. And then Chelsea are 40 to 1 to win the Champions League. 40! I kind of thought it might be like 18, 20, but 40 to 1! Again, when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. You know who's 20 to 1 though? Jose Mourinho's Tottenham. They've got a good team, Tottenham. They reached the final last season. Jose Mourinho does know how to win tournament trophies. It could happen. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's talk about the more immediate future which is January and transfers. Right, let's give you an update on Nathan Ake. Chelsea are still very interested in Ake. I guess it would be analysing the four centre-backs they've got and being like, look, do we need to bring in one centre-back? A lot of people are saying Chelsea need a centre-half, but if they did bring someone in, it would have to be a titanic leader. Now, Ake's got leadership qualities, but is he really meeting that requirement? Probably not. But the release clause on Ake that Chelsea have for 40 million, which in the current market is a very, very reasonable price indeed, actually expires after the January window. So it's a now or never situation for Chelsea. A lot of pressure on them to make a decision on it, that they think they need a centre-half, they've got a very good Premier League proven centre-half available to them for very, very good money. If he doesn't go to Chelsea and they like throw away the first refusal, then other teams can come in and bid serious amounts of money. Now, Bournemouth won't have to sell. They only have to sell to Chelsea because of the clause. But if City come in and give them 60, they could still say no. But then again, someone like City or indeed other teams in the summer could come in, offer a lot of money and Bournemouth would be forced to sell because they'd back themselves to replace him and make some money. Right then, Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey has been linked to Chelsea for a few years now. The 22 year old Jamaican winger is an exciting young talent. I remember maybe two years ago now, I always listen to football podcasts every day, right? Like always listening to stats, analysis, journalists talk about football and indeed all European football. I remember certain I remember certain journos that went out to watch Leverkusen absolutely waxing lyrical there's that term of Leon Bailey saying how amazing he is how he looks like Neymar sometimes in the ball and how he could be 
so, so good, like be one of the best in world football. Leon Bailey, I think, would love the move to Chelsea. There's some complications with his agent. I think Chelsea have reached out before, but you know, he's pictured in a Chelsea shirt when he's a kid and he's tweeted dream big and all that, but where have we seen that before, Nicola Pepe? So that doesn't really mean much. The point is, he's come up into conversation again because Chelsea are looking at a winger. He scored like a couple of goals or he's put in a couple of good performances. He has three goals and one assist for Bayer Leverkusen this season. I don't think he's played that much, but for me, he's, he's a worrying player because he did used to look amazing, but there's certain players on these sort of middle tier uh, European league teams that have like good seasons or good half seasons. Everyone gets really overexcited about them. Andrea Bellotti, people like that. And then they sort of die down a little bit. And for me, he's a really, really good age, Leon Bailey. And I think he'd be an exciting, probably good play. He'd probably fit the player profile for Frank Lampard. But for the money Leverkusen would want, I'm just still unconvinced about Leon Bailey. If he was posting better numbers, and I mean across all of his stats and metrics, maybe I'd be a little bit more inclined to think, yeah, let's go for him. And I'm not dismissing the idea because the links are very, very real and have been for years now. But I'm just not sure if he'd cost like somewhere north of 70 million, I'd have serious reservations. But if they're willing to sell it in January and Chelsea can come to an agreement, he's still very young, he's a dynamic, exciting player, it absolutely could work. Although if he does cost a lot of money and there's a bit of a risk, for me, someone else is playing really well this season, Jeremy Boga, who I've spoken about before, £3.5 million buyback clause. I know you say maybe, well, Bailey would expect to start, obviously, so that's immediately going to annoy Hudson Adoy and Pulisic, um, especially because he's not like an elite Galactico like Sancho coming in. That might put some people out a little bit, but Boga, £3.5 million, Pedro replacement, playing well. Not a waste of money at all, in my opinion. Whatever. Right, so Chelsea is still being heavily linked with German striker Timo Werner. Now, I don't think this is a January transfer realistic story, in my opinion. The stories are there every day at headlines, so there's probably something behind it. But that would be an amazing signing for Chelsea, and albeit one that would put Tammy Abraham in a bit of a nervy situation. He's about the same age as Abraham and plays in a similar style team in terms of attacking direct football in RB Leipzig. He's got 16 goals and 5 assists this season and these 21 goal involvements are a couple more than Robert Lewandowski has got in the Bundesliga. Which is madness. And that works out to a goal involvement every 59 minutes in the Bundesliga this season. We're nearly halfway so that's a really really healthy return to maintain up until this point. You know, great age great player a massive target in world football as a centre forward so loads of people would want him it cost a lot of money and is he available in January probably not so I'll keep you posted on that of course check in daily on football therapy Chelsea have other strike options obviously I've told you about Josh Madger the last video I made on this but they have been linked to Moussa Dembele the 22 year old Frenchman uh, that's now playing for Lyon used to play for Celtic Dembele has reached double figures in league 1 this season he's played loads of minutes but it's you know to get double figures halfway through the season for Lyon is very good. He's got no assists and his other general metrics aren't that impressive but one thing that is really impressive is he wins a lot of aerial duels. Now Chelsea aren't particularly amazing in the air and if it really is as a second striker he's already used to scoring goals he wants more goals and Chelsea could really do with a striker who can help in the air in both boxes. Say he comes on for Tammy Abraham at like 65 minutes into a game when we need a goal so he scores that goal puts Chelsea in the lead Often at the end of games, Chelsea are like under the cosh, defending deep. He could be that player in the box, defending crosses, defending set pieces, winning headers and helping see a win out essentially. You'd imagine, a lot like Josh Madger, this would be an affordable centre forward option for Chelsea, even to purchase in January. If Timo Werner is going to cost Galactico money, these two would be much more affordable and if Frank Lampard's looking to get two or three players in, Maybe he's going to have to look to this sort of calibre of player to bolster his whole 11 rather than just plugging and playing one, you know, really important, expensive and quite honestly, probably overpriced player. So this transfer window, what have you got? What are your options? Well, you've got the really expensive options. Let's just say theoretically they're, av they're available. So you've got Timo Werner, it's going to cost loads of money. You've got Jadon Sancho, it's going to cost loads of money. And even Wilfred Zaha is a big serious Chelsea target also he'd cost loads of money even if not the same as someone like Jade and Sancho but you have a bunch of affordable targets you have the two strikers and Moussa Dembele and Josh Marger who would probably cost 
a lot, lot less and would be obtainable in January for a reasonable price. And if Frank Lampard sees them as targets that fit his player profile, might work really well. And wingers as well, you've got people like Jeremy Boga, who is £3.5 million for Chelsea. And if it is indeed just a replacement for Pedro to rotate in with the other guys, that could be superb. Leon Bailey is definitely in the expensive bracket, so I should have mentioned him in the first lot, but he wouldn't come cheap even if somehow they got a reduced price and he put in a transfer request compared to you know the cheap options he'd be a lot and as a central defender i know chelsea have been linked with kula bali or they've been urged to go and get kula bali obviously nathan aki premier league premier league proven at 40 million is a cheap option but anyway what do you guys think get down in the comments below let me know your thoughts and opinions and all the players that i've talked about do you think it's worth Frank Lampard going for the realistic cheap options or waiting or maybe just getting one in or going all out for someone like Timo Werner who's probably not going to come to Chelsea? Let me know. Obviously check back to Football Therapy every single day. I'll keep you updated and make sure now you click in the link in the top of the description and come hang out with me on Yan Plays. Also follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. That's it from me you lot. You all enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.